Hey, Vermilion Parish homeowners, it's Jim Cady, your Vermilion Parish real estate expert, and this is your quick real estate market update. So over the past month, I've actually had lots of conversations with a number of my clients and friends, and they're all asking me the same thing. What is going on with the market? With these interest rates and the economy and everything going on in the world, is the value of my house going up or is it going down? Am I safe? Am I okay? What's going on? Well, while it's hard to determine month over month on how home values of your house is actually holding up, we can compare the same time period last year versus this year to see how home values have actually been affected. And the year to date average home value has declined in Vermilion Parish by about 1%, which is about $2,000 less than last year. This shows a slight decrease reflecting the broader economic trends that we're all experiencing. Now here's where it does get very interesting. Did you realize that at any given time or year leading up to 2020, there was on average about 162 homes for sale in Vermilion Parish? Well, as of today, there are about 214 homes for sale in Vermilion Parish, which means there's an increase in supply in the market. So if you own a home and you're thinking now might be the right time for you to move, you still have a valuable asset, but with more competition in the market, you're gonna have to do a little bit more to get your house sold than you did before. And what does this mean if you're thinking about buying a home? Well, it means that you need to have a great strategy to navigate a market with increased listings and understand the ins and outs of making competitive offers. So if either of these situations actually resonate with you, stay tuned for more home buyer and seller tips just like this. Until next month, I'm Jim Cady, your Vermilion Parish real estate expert. Thanks for tuning in.